think of something, man. All right, so I don't know if you're the type of guy that is a little bit old school. I like putting my hands on items when I, you know, considering them or buying them. So when I'm going for shoes, I can rarely buy shoes online because I want to see how they fit. I want to see how they feel before I buy them. So hence, you got to go to the shopping mall, man. We're going to pick up some shoes before we get into the message. And I'm picking up shoes to get my fitness on. up in the Nike store getting a couple shoes fitted for the gym and uh, we're gonna see how these feel let's do it not sure if they're Jordans. I mean, they have the Jordan branding on it, but we're going to use these for workouts, at least one of the shoes. Blue chip mindset in the building is the CGA out here risking it all in public outside of the studio, man. Let's talk about these three favorite words of yours. These are going to be the three most important words in your life. All right. The first one is Yob. Now that precedes everything, man. So that's going to be your primary source of income everybody's gotta have a job and then you gotta get your job on all right so first things first gotta get a job and we call it a job but just over broke a job essentially is gonna pay you just enough for your ass to keep coming back and reporting the duty all right and so a lot of people will get a job and they will work their nine to five self and they'll do just enough they'll clock in clock out punch out punch in punch out and that'll be it Okay, they'll relax, chill, celebrate recklessly on the weekend and then be broke and have to go back to their job the next week. All right. So in order for you to get to any status, any level of what they will perceive as wealth, you got to get these three words. And these three words are number one, residual. OK, you got to get some residual income. How can you get residual income? Well, if you have any level of talent, you can at least teach a skill or teach a bit of information that people want to know, all right? Like a YouTube channel is a residual income. Didn't know that, did you? Yes, that's residual income because if you can begin become monetized, essentially what's gonna happen is you can make money while you're sleeping, while everybody's watching this content, okay? You don't have to reproduce the content. You don't have to make the video every day. Like you have to go every day to work. You can make some money while people are watching you. Another type of residual income is writing a book, creating a course, sell, uh, selling or renting an apartment, uh, renting a room in your house. This is you not having to work for that money and you can essentially just more or less make money uh, by pr producing this, whatever that is. So that's residual income. A lot of recording artists make money residually. All right, a lot of people who have production companies, they're actors in movies they receive a residual check, all right? And that is an important thing, an important income um, asset that you can have in your back pocket that you can make in addition to your job. All right, so now the next one is gonna be passive. Passive income, all right? That's the next level. So you get passive income, meaning you don't have to work for it as well. So some of those examples that I gave you, renting an apartment, renting a room out of your house could be considered passive income. Also, real estate investments is passive income for the most part. You still have to do a little bit of work on these rental properties to get passive income. But over time, with equity, as you build equity, you can create some 
passive income, meaning you can have a, a job in addition to these investments. And over time, this income earned passively, not having to report to a second job, can generate some money. And over time, it matters, okay? All right, so you got those. And then the last one is compound. All right, compound is gonna be your word number three. Compound, all right, meaning multiple, meaning great, all right? So for instance, if you break it, yeah, you get an injury. Let's say you break your lower leg and you break your tibia and fibula, all right? So breaking one bone would be an injury, a bro broken bone, but if you break two, that's a compound injury. Sometimes you will have a compound fracture or something like that in which it becomes more of a injury over time because of what it is. So compound is a very important word. Why is that important to you? Well, when you're young, you can, what? Start investing early, very minimally, and create this compound interest over time where after 15, 20, 30 years, 15, 20, 30 years, yes, it takes a long time, your money will start to earn interest and build via compound interest, all right? so. This is gonna be very important for our early investors, our earlier blue chippers. Our earlier blue chippers are gonna take advantage of what this compound interest is by starting early. Now you might tell me, I don't have an extra 50, 60, $200 coach to be putting in no damn market right now. I don't have that coach, man. I, I barely have a job. Well, here's the deal. If you wait until you're in your 30s to start investing, what's gonna happen is it's gonna take you into a greater age to start experiencing your compound interest. Meaning, you start investing when you're 30 and start putting money away, well, compound interest is not gonna kick in until you're damn near 70, okay? Or maybe something like that, I'm exaggerating, but that's what I mean here. But if you start when you're 18 and you put 250 away, $100 away, then by the time you hit age 40, that compound interest, maybe 45, that compound interest is going to kick in and it's going to be great. And that income is going to make a major difference in your wealth building. So I hope young people are watching me. Is it too late? Is it too late for you to start investing? No. However, if you have an early blue chip mindset, meaning your parents set you up on the path of success and they provided you with great opportunities to do so, then that compound interest is gonna be a thing for you. And this is why people get ahead in life. They have these three things and they have these three things nice and early and their parents educate them and set them up for this. This is the whole idea of the blue chip mindset. So with that being said, for the people that don't have $250 or you don't have a one, extra $100, but you can always find money to be buying drinks, buying shoes, all right, spending money on women, going on dates, splurging, going on vacation. You got enough money to go shake your ass on the weekend, but you don't got enough money to invest and create your compound interest. You know what I'm saying, all right? It's all about priorities. And the reality is, if you don't take care of your priorities now, you're gonna pay the penalty later, that's the bottom line. So take it from me, this is CGA Blue Chip Mindset with another video, the three words of the day. It's gonna be residual, it's gonna be passive, and it's gonna be compound. And that's how you get what you need to get in this life or else you're gonna need a Hail Mary up in this mug and you don't need Hail Marys, man. No short money, no fast money, no licks. We in here doing it the right way, the Blue Chip Mindset.